Welcome back to Frozen Dedication. This is Zet. Today I'm going to be talking about BNGO again. It's going to be an update, so make sure to watch my previous DD that looked a little bit in depth in towards the company. Make sure to subscribe to this channel, share this video, and like it if you uh, to help this channel grow. So without further ado, let's go to technical analysis, and then we're going to move on to news at the very end. So looking here at the MACD, it seems that we have a little bit of a broken trend going in from positive towards a little bit to uh slightly less positive in terms of the trend although this can actually still reverse tomorrow the dangerous sign here is that the volume has decreased from the day before to the day next day so that's two red signs there average directional index is hitting in closer to 50 once it reaches 50 that's usually a warning sign for or an indicator that a trend is actually kind of dying down um and it definitely would reach 50 sometime tomorrow well you percent r is putting this one a little bit more around neutral so that's a good sign for us um going on towards the stock the stock hasn't broken down the 200 sma below the 200 sma yet uh <clears throat> usually what institutions do is once it breaks a little bit below the 200 sma they sell it and so this could be a warning sign for you there 10 sma is above the 30 ma the stock price is still above the 50 sma so those uh the kind of the indicators currently show a little bit of a warning sign but are still good now going on towards the one hour intervals Moving here, you get to see that the MACD is actually negative, and it has been negative for almost all of yesterday. Going in towards today, just kind of shot back downwards. And what you can have is a little bit of a similar move, where it does see a further pullback later on tomorrow. That could be a little bit dangerous. Or what you could actually see is somewhere where the MACD does go on a little bit to green and stays there towards accumulation. Uh, it still looks a little bit bad from the MACD point. Uh, the stock price is under the 50 SMA, so that's another bear sign under the VWAP. Uh, 10 SMA and the 30 EMA, those switch signs sometime today at 10 a.m. So that's another bearish sign as well. Uh, so the 30 EMA is above the 10 SMA. Uh, going on towards the stock price is above the 200 SMA. So that's the only good one here in terms of average in one hour is that it is uh, the stock price is above that. Moving on, you get to see the stock is oversold during a bit of the day. That's good news, but it, we've seen it yesterday, so it worries me a little. Momentum, it seems that it has really low momentum at the current moment. Uh, average directional index shows that there is almost no trend. Uh, so it's more of a sloppy trend. As soon as it reaches below 20, it becomes in sloppy. Going on towards uh moving averages here let's uh zoom it in quickly you get to see the stock price is way above the moving average what you might have is something similar to this here uh so it's still there's a ways to go for this one here moving on towards the fibonacci retracements we get to look at the stock price and you see this 0.71 is where fibonacci sits uh 0.75 it seems that there's a good support there it's been tested three times uh resistance is sitting at 0.79 next resistance at 0.83 uh, next resistance is at 0.88. The next one would be somewhere around 0.93. Following that would be somewhere around 0.94 to 0.97. That seems to be somewhere where reversals happened. Uh, $1 is Fibonacci retracement. Seems that the support resistance there is 103. Now going on towards supports. Uh, 0.71 under Fibonacci retracements. Above that is 0.75. And below Fibonacci is sitting 0 0.66. 0 0.60 on Fibonacci. Uh, which seems to be confirmed by a traditional 1.59. I think I might have forgot about the 0.62 there, but it's still in the extended market, so I wouldn't give it much mind. Following that is 0.58 happening somewhere around here. Following that is around 0.52. And there could be, you can argue that it's 0.55, although it's only been tested once in the aftermarket, and well, actually both of them are on the aftermarket. All right, uh, try to look into any trends or indications here not uh let's try to draw a trend line here quickly and you get to see the trend line is actually broken uh it the current trend line would be somewhere looking like this or this bone so that kind of broken today so that, that's a dangerous sign for us and then going on towards the pattern we're seeing so this pattern could uh, and i actually might have messed in okay so this pattern here might be a head might be a shoulder so that could be a bearish sign uh still yet to confirm down but if it is actually in fact heads and shoulder this might actually bleed a little so so far not looking good in terms of the sign uh scares me a little especially for people that are currently holding it uh yeah so going on towards latest news let's try to find anything that is new here 
So moving on quickly, we're gonna go get um, uh, no recent purchases from in from institutional, but they have one of the goods uh, one of the PRs that have been released recently, which is a good sign here. Uh, so B uh, this BNGO imaging identifies the most common structural variation between individuals with uh, DeGeorge syndrome. So two pieces of articles here obtaining structurally accurate pictures of genomes of patients with usual syndrome and their parents is critical developing a detailed understanding how these mutations form and whether the genomes of the parents harbor any characteristics that would uh, predispose the affected embryo to manifesting the disease causing variant despite considering efforts to date Sequencing technologies have been unable to correctly assemble the 22Q11.2 region due to size, region, complexity, and diversity. In contrast, this paper illustrates that bio, uh, bio nanogenome imaging technology allows characterization of complex repetitive areas with its unique ability to image extremely long single DNA molecules. And what it seems is that this company is being getting a bit more exposure, as we've seen before, uh, as a game changer for uh chromosome for dna structures for molecules so that's quite interesting so there is definitely hype so what is the next move that i think was going to happen and what am i going to do so i think that this jump has been somewhat justified but been pushed out perhaps a little bit further what's going to happen is probably it might decrease a little somewhere around the point the support 0 0.69 to 0.70 and then accumulate before it shoots up again sometime later on with good positive news uh, that's just kind of my estimate right now still technicals look a bit bearish chart looks a little bit bearish so if i was holding this somewhere at the bottom i would consider selling at this point if i'm consider if i'm considering buying i would wait at least a day or two until technicals look nice perhaps monday for monday or on the weekends do you, uh, your technical analysis there and if it actually is seeing a reversal that might be actually worth it to get into um, I can definitely update you guys on Twitter. Just make sure to at me on there. Thank you very much. Let me know what you think about this uh, ticker down comment below. Share, subscribe, and like, and you have a wonderful day.